Today I'm making fregolero mussels and it's just an old favourite from when I worked at Momofuku. We used to make it for family meal all the time. Uh, it's pretty simple but very tasty. We've got some washed mussels here. We're gonna get the pan really hot so we can open them. I'm gonna add some olive oil to my pan. When we put our mussels into our hot pan, we're gonna have one clove of smashed garlic. I like to use the garlic as it to test whether the pan is hot enough. We also have our parsley stems. So in here, just for a bit of flavour, and dump the mussels in with some white wine. Lid on. I like to use mussels for this dish because they release a lot of sauce and juice. It shouldn't take more than two or three minutes. Try not to check it too much because you let the steam out because the steam will help them open. Um, and just giving them a really good shake because that will release the mussel. Okay, so the mussels look like they're done. I'm gonna quickly. It's important to cover the mussels up while they cool down because otherwise they will shrink and kind of shrivel up a little bit. So you want them to cool down slowly. Okay, so next up we're gonna make the base for our sauce. The trick with the fennel and the onion is to cook it down so it's like almost falling apart. And we're just putting a lid on there. So putting the lid on for the first couple of minutes of cooking will make sure that they kind of steam. And so when they finally cook, you won't have any resistance or bite left in them. So chopped garlic. And our anchovies. Add as many or as little as you like, depending on your taste. I love anchovies. So I'm just turning this down low. Lid's on for the first five minutes. This is one of the things you can't really rush. But in the meantime, we're going to chuck our mussels. So you just need to make sure you get this little beard out. It's the little bit of hair that the mussel uses to attach itself to whatever it's growing on. So right now I'm just checking my fennel and onion. So it's really nicely sweated down. So we're just gonna leave the lid off and leave it on low. We've got the juice from our mussels. There's a lot here. Onto the final stretch. We're gonna chop the mussels and then we're gonna chop our herbs and garlic. You need to scrape out the inside of the preserved lemons because the flesh itself is very, very, very salty and not very nice to eat. So you're basically just taking the peel. Just gonna get everything together for the garnish in the bowl so the dish comes together really quickly. Making sure you don't get any seeds in. So now, for the cooking of the pasta, this is toasted fregola, fregola sardi, so it gives it kind of like a nutty flavour as well. Okay, so our fregola's cooked. It's pretty al dente. Tip it in here with our fennel and onion. Give it a bit of a stir. Now we're gonna add our mussel stock. It's quite a lot here. I'm not gonna add it all straight away. I'm gonna give it a good stir. So we've got our mussels going straight in, and then our parsley with our garlic and preserved lemon over here. And then we are done. That looks great.